Inside Knott's Merry Farm. And Jack's about to go on this r roller coaster right in front of us there. Yeah, good luck on that. Just did a Ghost Rider, the wooden coaster. Coaster count now at 176. Good CCI wooden coaster with the GCI retracking made it much smoother than it probably otherwise would be. Right, coaster credit number 177. It's a fun ride, it's it's a bit gimmicky. But it's a good ride, some fun inversions. That vertical lift hill is probably the scariest part. Uh, definitely awesome to have a coaster with five inversions and only a lap bar, no over the shoulder restraints. Coast Rider is the Wild Mouse. I say 176, 77. Coaster count number 178. Coaster credit number 178. Yeah, that's a one and done. Got shin guards that are uncomfortable. But this one is weird because the uh, restraint, it comes from your back. It pushes against your lower back. And it's a launch coaster. You got the launch launch section right over there. And you just do a turn, come over here through the shed, and that's it. Short ride, but it was fun. An unusual riding position too, so that made it cool. A little bit of a headbanger. Not as bad as some others I've been on though. Mainly on the Cobra roll, got a little head banging in. I think on another corkscrew near the end. Yeah, there's the Cobra roll way over there. But I rode in the front. It was it was decent enough. The Pony Express was 179. Silver Bullet, the invert was 180. And now we got Jaguar right here. So Montezuma's Revenge was number 182. This is just like the, um, oh gosh, I can't remember it. Whatever is called at Astro World, the Schwarzkopf Shuttle Loop, Grease Lightning. So harken back to my early coaster riding days with that run and I get to ride a clone of it still operating for 182 it means there's three left yep best ride at the park Timberline Twister has some little airtime hills in there fun little ride and we were just short enough to qualify to get on it. So that was number 183. Two more to go. Oh, yeah, just to get through. Go behind the waterfall. So accelerator. Coaster credit number 184. The only one left in the park that I got to do is Sierra Sidewinder. It was closed when we walked by. We'll try again later. This one was closed when we first came up on Ah, uh, here we go. A little over 200 feet.
it's Sierra Sidewinder, coaster number 185. It's a spinning coaster, and they're all in a chain instead of just a four-person trains, but the line still moves just as slow as a regular spinning coaster. And we didn't spin very much. Well, they've only got one. And there's only one, yeah, only one train. This one seems designed not to spin much.